Hello and welcome back to the channel. Yes, it has been a little while. We've had some nice rewards and we've changed our gallery a little bit. Let's give you an update on what's happening in our So Rare account. So like I said guys, it has been a little while since we've gone for our gallery, probably since the latest update in terms of the cat modes and everything else. If you want some videos on that, let me know in the comments, I'm happy to do it. But how has our gallery changed? I'll get rid of all of our commons because we don't really care too much about what we're doing here. So, a little bit of spoiler of rewards. Maybe I'll do my rewards first. That could work. Actually... Let's just do our gallery first. We'll talk about rewards soon. You'll see a couple of them, but you might not know which ones are rewards. So, in terms of goalkeepers, we actually have a good selection of goalkeepers. I'm really hoping Vanosh, in some universe, gets back into Fortuna Sitar's starting lineup. I, I like Panda, all right? But if he gets injured, fantastic. So I'll get Vanosh back and I'll sell him, hopefully, for almost break even, or if not break even. I want to try and get rid of him at some stage, but I'm not selling him for what the price is at now. Uh, Unastor is obviously our number one limited keeper. We've got Matt Ryan and Kepper as well. And we bought Ariola for 0.33. His floor is 0.4 at the moment. That is mine, I'm trying to sell him for profit. The reason I bought him is because midweek games, also Fabianski's injured. I did have Fabianski. He got injured, so I sold him and used them funds to buy Ariola. I'm hoping stays as number one for the rest of the season. I'd like to see that happen as a fan, but also so rare. He is my card. But like I say, Matt Ryan's doing well for AZ. They have midweek games. So actually, with a balance of AZ and West Ham cards, we have got some midweek fixtures that we could get some rewards from. In terms of defenders, uh, let's have a look at newest to oldest. You guys will see it here. We've got quite a few rewards here that we haven't spoken about. Is Kiedo. Very average player. Carl McFadden plays with Coventry. Have a really good defence this season. So hopefully get some nice clean sheets. Scott McKenna, we don't care about. Ashley Young and Johnny, we don't care about. Maybe we'll give them three away. Maybe I'll do a giveaway of some Premier League players. We'll give them away. Emerson, we obviously bought a Premier League version of. We have a super rare Emerson. I'm pretty sure I've spoken since we've bought this super rare. But if not, I won a super rare. My first ever super rare. We bought one on auction for 0.194. Not looking to sell him. He'll he's hopefully I'll start on left back for the rest of the season and further. Very good player in real life. I like him a lot. So a very nice purchase. We also have Aaron Cresswell here and Tilo Kera for our midweek games in rotation in the Conference League. Also, if injuries happen with West Ham, these two have decent chances to play if Emerson gets injured. Cresswell has a more of a chance to play, so you have some good depth there. Uh, we've got a nice amount of MLS players here as well in terms of defenders who have picked up over the course of probably the last year just through rewards. In terms of midfielders, uh, Lucas Paqueta, West Ham, Flynn Downs, West Ham, Jeremy Gondorf, brilliant story of him. We needed a midfielder. I wanted a really, really cheap one. We got him, and he'd done really well in his first game for us. I want to say he hit a 99 in his first game for us, which I was like, this is a brilliant pick. Didn't help us win an award. I'm not sure what our lineup had of him, but a very, very nice utility card, very cheap, just useful to have. 61 in his last five, very nice player. And of course, our classic limiteds are there, haven't changed in ages. In terms of forwards, we have Skamaka, who David Moyes hates, I'm hoping. I'm really hoping he starts playing football because he's our best striker at the club. Mikel Antonio and Saeed Ben Rama are there. And a couple more rewards here and there in terms of players that we have. We have Sapong, who's MLS. I'm looking to probably sell him if he starts playing again. He was currently injured last time, but last season was very useful for us. So that is our gallery. In terms of rewards now, last game week is probably the best game week to talk about. Uh, in terms of rewards, we've got a one tier two, which is our Premier League team, and a tier five with our All Star Limiteds, very generic, and some ETH, and of course the So Rare coins. We've got some of those as well. But we were very, very, very close, as you can see. All Star Rare Pro had 313 points. Now I was gutted about it, and I'll tell you guys why. So. All-Star Limited, pretty decent return for, for some of our players. Wesley Hurt can see in the 1-0 loss, didn't do too well. And Zivkovic didn't score, so weren't really going to get too far. If results had gone our way, like I say, hindsight, we could have done a lot better with the lineup considering they've got a clean shoot with a keeper. Jonathan Vieira is hopefully back to his former self with a goal and assist. And Hainan scored in a 2-1 a loss. So actually a very nice result for him. But yeah, two limits didn't do too very well, so I can't expect more. Now, tier 5, and I'll take it. We've got a decent-ish Tier 5, which was the Coventry player. I'm pretty sure that was our reward. 
All Star Rare Pro. We were 67 points away from a tier three rare. So a lot of hindsight. Skamaka didn't come on. If he'd come on, would he have scored? You don't know. But very, very good scores from everybody else. A one all draw. I've only got 56. Very nice. A one all draw again. Now, Emerson got a last man tackle. He ran through and just get the ball, got the ball off. Um, I think it was Ollie Watkins, I'm pretty sure. 114 score for our super rare. Very nice. Uh, Gondorf got a 57 or 53.9 in a 4 2 loss. No, 4 2 win, sorry. So he actually got a few goals conceded and actually got a really good score. Paqueta won a pen as our captain and Skamaka didn't come on, which is a shame. A lot of potential in this lineup for future weeks, though. If West Ham play their best 11, which they need to, and win a game with a clean sheet, we are definitely in the running for an all star rare reward, which is what we're after. This is kind of our main main place we're going to enter rewards or enter cards here. How much league we don't care about. Cap 240, we won ETH, clean sheet for. FC20 with Wunderstall, Lawrence played, Espinosa gave away a pen, unfortunately. Uh, Philip Pormer scored decent AA, 54.1. And Sabrino scored, got a 70 in a two-all draw versus Getafe. Pretty happy with that. We got our ETH, not too far off rewards. Maybe in a future week, we can get some rewards there as well. Cap 240, throw away, Kerry got a 60. Which is why I'm a little bit annoyed, because my other, other rares, if they're in this lineup, we could have pushed higher. But all hindsight, like I say, not too fussed. Where was our main one? Here is our main one. Um, obviously, the commons here. But our main one was Premier League Pro. Jose Sart in a 2-1 loss. Got 57 points. Like I say, Emerson got a last man tackle. So, got a 97 for us. Uh, which is very, very nice. Aguered didn't play too well, apparently. According to So Rare, got 38.7. And Lucas Paqueta got a penalty in 102 as our captain. With Ben Rama scoring and got 89. So, we got a Tier 2 limit here. Which, in a new system... Is an old tier one, which got us a very, very nice reward, which was Kepa. Kepa was our reward for the last game week. Price-wise, we're looking at about... Did I just... Have I listed him or did I just sell him while I'm doing this video? I think I've just... I think he, that's him being listed. But his floor price is around 0.041, I want to say. Which is about £60. So very happy with that. Uh, I think he's going to be the start of the rest of the season. I'm pretty sure Mendy doesn't get back into it. In terms of scores, 54 in his last five. The defensive record has been better recently. They have been struggling with scoring goals. Last three games, he got wins, two clean sheets in the last in last three. He has midweek utility as well in terms of Champions League. So the further Chelsea go, hopefully the more valuable he gets in terms of midweek selections. But I'm very happy with getting him. I'm looking to sell him. Just because I want to start taking some funds out in terms of if I sell it for 0.04, I'll take half of that out and put it into my ETH wallet and keep it as ETH in terms of savings. That's my plan from now on. Half of my rewards will be going out. Unless I'm keeping them, half the sales I make will be going into my ETH wallet. Not because I lost trust in it. I just want to start being a bit more secure and keeping ETH for actually maybe as well. Saving ETH in terms of my wallet. And if a good super rare or a good rare comes up, I will have the money to do it rather than coming out of my bank account and paying more money for it. So I'm pretty happy with this reward. Let me go know, know what you think of my gallery. I'm pretty happy with my gallery state at the moment. If West Ham start picking up points, which is the biggest issue, then we could actually have some really good rewards in the future. If we're getting... Right, the ideal scenario is, right, we win 2-0. Emerson and Paquetta get an assist and Skamaka scores two goals. Ariel the clean sheet. We're, we're laughing to a reward there. That's the plan. It will happen once this season. I'm praying it will happen once this season. If Moyes goes, you never know. But we're now up to 8% in terms of winning lineups, which I'm pretty happy with. 14 winning lineups. Uh, how do I see what rewards I have? A bit too boring. Let's not have a look at that. Maybe another video will do a whole gallery review and some stats there. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe as well. We'll do a giveaway. Check my Twitter out for a giveaway of some Premier League players. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll catch you all later.